Good afternoon YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, quick review and short show and tell and a sort of a how-to on a little bit about the uh, X10 Powerhouse home automation products. Um, they do make a lot of other products from uh, uh, wireless cameras to computer software. Uh, basically they do everything with security and home automation and today we're going to be going over the very basic parts uh, if you want to have some of the, the uh, uh, lamps or appliances in your house become wireless and be able to turn on and off remotely and be able to dim them. Now again, there's other uh, programs you can get for Android and iOS and a few parts for your computer that you can get will actually allow you to do this from a distance. But for day, today's purposes, we're going to be going with the very simple parts here. What we have on the right here is the X10, uh, I believe it's 16, uh, 16 uh, product, uh, sorry, I was coming out wrong. It'll control up to 16 different devices, so 16 module remote. Um, it's not the nicest looking thing in the world, but remember these things are very affordable, very cheap, and you can really get into this for, I mean, you could almost automate your whole house for under like 150 bucks. So something like this would probably only cost you under 20 bucks. Um, it's been a while since I purchased these products, so I'm, don't quote me on the price. Um, X10 always has deals on their website. You can always get um, like package deals, okay? So again, that's the remote. And then of course here we have the lamp module. And then we have the transceiver. And basically what this system does is when you print, when you basically put the transceiver, you plug this into your wall outlet uh, somewhere close to your electrical box because basically this remote is going to send the signal to the transceiver through the air and then the transceiver is going to take that, that information and send the code through your electrical wiring to the device that you've already programmed. In this case, it's going to be the lamp module. Okay, And you have a house code in each one of these to make your house different from let's say your neighbors or whatnot or maybe you want uh, maybe a different room in the house let's say your kids want their own system like this in their bedroom but you don't want them turning on and off your devices throughout the house you can set this to a different house code and you have up to I believe one one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty nine or uh, eighteen or twenty different house codes okay they also make small keychain remotes but I went with these because they're the the basic uh, cheapest uh, multi-function remote that X10 makes um, the lamp module is actually a dimming module. An appliance module will not dim, and it'll support uh, higher wattage. Okay, so like a coffee maker, I use one of these downstairs on my coffee maker when I'm getting up in the morning. I have an old coffee maker that doesn't have a timer, so I roll. I get my coffee ready. I roll out of bed. I press the uh, the correct button. It turns on my coffee maker, so I have that ready to go. Um, these can also be utilized with. Uh, uh, day and dusk sensors, and of course, uh, motion sensors, okay? So if you walk into a room, it'll turn on. Um, it gets dark outside, it'll turn on, okay? Um, and these are really great that if you want to have one of these hooked up, let's say you have a motion sensor in your backyard, not only, you know, it's kind of obvious when somebody, you know, comes up to, let's say, your house, and the light kicks on with a motion sensor, it's an outdoor light, It's they know it's automated to do that. When you have one of these things hooked up, you can have it turn on a lamp or turn on some ceiling cans, it makes it look like somebody's coming downstairs. So it's also a really great security piece. Um, for today's purposes, again, we're just going to utilize it. Um, we're going to hook it up to a bedroom lamp I have here that I use for just a little bit of a kind of a night light and uh, a little ambient lighting. Um, so basically, what we've done here is we've set the house code to A, okay, in this case, and we want to set each device to house code A, okay. Um, in this case, I know it says B. I'm using this one actually for security cameras uh, on a on a different setting. So we're just going to use utilize this. I just wanted to show you what it looks like today. I have the transceiver mounted in a different spot already hooked up. We're going to pretend with this one. So basically, this is very simple. What we're going to do is go ahead and take the normally what we do is we take the transceiver module, okay, and let's pretend that this is an outlet. Um, if you were just utilizing this room, the room would be fine to put it in, but if you're going to be utilizing this throughout your entire house, you're going to want to make sure you put this close to an electrical box. These are not guaranteed to work all the time. If, if your house has some kind of funky wiring, if they did something kind of different, I live in a townhouse, so the wiring here is a little bit funky, and sometimes these work on certain outlets and sometimes they don't and it really depends on where the transceiver is mounted um, my best spot was near my electrical box and I think that'll be the best spot for you so we're gonna pretend this is something in my garage here okay we normally would plug that in okay and we'd adjust the antenna all the way up so we're gonna pretend it's plugged in now here's where we got the lamp tri uh, module so I've already selected this one to be uh, unit code was at uh, uh, six I believe Sorry, unit, yes, Unicode 6, okay? And then naturally, these you don't select, but you have a switch to alternate between the first 8 and the and then 9 through um, through uh, uh, nine through 16, okay? 
Sorry about that. All right, so if today's purpose is we're going to have that right there. That's unit number six, okay? We don't have to do anything. That's what it's going to be. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take the lamp, and here's the outlet back here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to put this down for one moment. And all we're going to do here is take the lamp, plug it on into the outlet here on the, on the uh, module here, and I'll show you that. See, it's plugged in. And very simple, we're just going to plug it right into the outlet. Now you'll see, we'll go ahead and press the switch here for unit 6, and voila, the lamp comes on. And we can also dim this down. There we go. And we can turn it off. And back on. Perfect. And that's how they work. And you can hook uh, each one of these remotes will support up to uh, 16 different devices. Um, so those are the plug-in modules. Uh, that was basically the how-to today. Very straightforward, very simple. Um, remember, also, you can get the wall switches, okay, which are actually built in. These actually uh, will turn on certain outlets in the house or certain lights. This one I have hooked up to some bedroom lamps. These are dimmable as well, but that's a whole different video on how to install those. So that's my video. If you have any questions about these, uh, don't hesitate to contact me or leave a comment. And I'll be posting more videos in the future showing you the security cameras and how you can hook those up and interact with your desktop. All right. Thanks again for watching.